So yeah, this to me, this is not a, it's not a very complicated issue. It's like in terms of morality and ethics, this is kind of like an open book test. Like if we can't get this far to the point where we admit that taking other human beings and forcing them to work for you against their will with the threat of violence is immoral. And I don't even believe in objective morality, but if we can agree on anything, that's pretty messed up to do. And it endured for centuries, for many centuries, as a form of e economic necessity, as a answer to things like labor shortages or, you know, hey, we have these other people. What do we do with them? I have this daughter here. She's not really doing anything good for me. Maybe I can sell her and somebody else can find good use for her. Whatever the, the rationale is, I think we can all agree today that it's horrible. And we're very glad that we've moved past this um, this terrible mark in human history. But it's also good to reflect on the fact that we had to drag the, we had to fight, people had to fight and die to, uh, so that this thing that we all agree today could become a reality, a world where people don't own, own anybody else, where you can't force other people to work with the threat of violence. You know, it's uh, a pretty uh, surreal thing when you s sit back and think about it. Um, yeah. And Christianity, there were Christians on both sides. And we'd like to, we all think that the, the ones who were for the side of abolition had it right. But actually, from a purely theological sense, you could say that the other side was being more true to the the Bible. Now, then there, there there's going to be people who come out and say, well, you know, look, slavery in the antebellum South, it wasn't set up exactly the way biblical slavery worked. It was a harsher system. It was it was a more cruel system than, than what the Bible had. And maybe that's true on certain on certain levels but you know they said hey well we're not bound by the old testament laws anymore you know we can eat pork we can do all these other things so we're not bound to follow their precise rules on treatment of slavery it was more of a a general guideline but even still you know if you say that this this book this book came from the the most wisest intelligent goodest possible being in existence and say that his system of slavery was marginally better, marginally less cruel than those of the neighboring tribes. Well, I mean, that's a very low mark to set for your God that his system was just a little less fucked up than what the uh, neighboring countries were doing. So, yeah.